Hi, what's your name? I'm Kayla. Kayla, where you calling me from? I'm calling from Houston. Houston, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, what you do for a living? Yeah, so I was a teacher, but now I work in education technology. Okay, you have any children? I do, I have a five-year-old. Five-year-old, what's your zodiac sign? Um, I'm an Aries, but I'm not really into zodiac. Okay, so I respect it. So Kayla Houston, 27, educational technology, has a five-year-old, a girl or a boy? It's a girl. A girl. What kind of man are you looking for, Kayla? Um, great question, right? Uh, I'm looking for someone who is manly. Um, I date a lot of African men, so traditional men, I guess, is something I'm looking for. Uh, a man that has a dad. <laughs> Man that has a dad. Yeah. Okay. Man that has a dad. All mm -hmm. right. Any deal breakers? Um, deal breakers are shorter than me. I'm five five, so you should be taller than me. Uh living with parents is a deal breaker. And more than one baby mama is a deal breaker. So um, how about kids? Uh how he can kids? have kids if he he can only have he got two kids, but one baby mama. One baby mama. All right, Kayla, um, does he have to look a certain way? Uh, No, looks aren't really important to me. It's the character and values for me. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, Yeah, he has to make enough to sustain a family. Uh, I don't, I do work, but I don't plan on working. Like when I have another kid, I didn't work with this kid. So if you don't have enough to sustain a family, whatever that amount may be, then you're not the one for me. What? Two things is true. What she's saying is not so nonsensical. A woman can say that and be on point if you applying that kind of pressure. You can't be out here already with child saying you want a man come in paying all the bills. We better look the part. That's why I was Y'all can throw whatever number y'all want to that, but you better look the part. And right now, she ain't applying that kind of pressure. There you go. Y'all looking for somebody to come in here and play a uh, step husband and be a provider male and all that. You and you already got a kid with you. You need to be applying excessive pressure to get this man to do so. Excessive or, or, or lower your quote unquote standards. Because the man she's going to describe, she don't qualify for him. So it's not to say there is a man out there who will come in here and pay the bills and kiss your forehead, buy you edible arrangements, all that. You yes. ain't, he ain't going to make that thing tingle, though. He ain't going to make it tingle. So that's the boat y'all find yourselves in. Better figure it out. Go back to your baby daddy. I don't know. I don't know the solution. Okay. You said you didn't work when you had your first child. Yeah. So if you want to, you have another kid only if you don't have to work. Yes. Well, okay. I'm going to have another kid, so I'm not going to be working when the baby is small. So we have to make enough money to make sure he can hold down all the bills. Yes. So you're not working with the baby when you're pregnant or just when the baby's small? Period. Oops. Hello? Kayla? Sorry. Sorry. Can you hear me? I can. So you're saying once the baby is small, period, you're not working? Period. Yeah. So when would you start working again? Um, probably when my child is about two. Okay. Okay. Um, you've been married before? No, I haven't. Okay. You want to get married this time? Kayla, what's going on? Honey? Hold on, Kendra. People keep calling me. I'm putting my phone on do not disturb. Okay. I think, okay. I think people are going to my Instagram and <laughs> finding my okay. number on what? my business page. So Why do you have your number on Instagram? I have a business page. I do catering. So my my cooking page is in my Instagram bio. So they're going to my okay. You guys page. stop. You guys stop calling her. Stop All calling right. me. All right. So that and that was the how much money he had to make question, right? Yes. Okay. And she's adamant. She you so you do want another kid, and the man you have a kid with has to know you are not working during that. Yeah, I want multiple kids because I just want a big family. Okay. Oh, you want multiple kids. So you don't feel like, so you're not going to work again once you get kids. 
Um, kind of. I I do a lot of like home. Even with my daughter, she goes to school because she's in a bilingual program. But I do like a lot of home school stuff. That's what I plan for my children. They can go to school, but if my man is able to take care of all of us, it's no reason to. They can okay. educate, live at home. I thought it was a requirement. That's the way you made it seem. It's a requirement when I when my child is small. But if you can sustain us for a long period, that's even better. Well, I mean, this will be for each child. You said you want more than one kid, right? So, yeah, but the next, my daughter's already five. I'm 27. By the time I have my next kids, they're probably going to be recurrent, like every year, and then I'll be done. So that's only taking me out the game for what, like five or six years. <laughs> only this is. Oh Lord, have mercy. In Jesus' name, hear me, Lord, hear. Wow. She said, it's only going to take me out the working game for about five, six years, Kendra. Ain't nothing but a little, little five-year break from not from being unemployed. Dang, sister. You must got a lot of bank saved up. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You don't. A man going to come in with your child, going to come play stephusband, and he going to pay for all this. Uh-huh. God, this sister's delusional. Oh, here we it's the go, pressure, man. Folks. It's the pressure that needs to be applied. She can listen here. Nothing really is impossible. Really, it ain't. But you know, the the feats she must go through to get what she asking for. She need to go damn near insane in the gym and, and with some type of uh, uh, etiquette counseling or whatever she Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, she on one. That's my girl Dom say. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Great like you that. Me. <laughs> so for five or six years, he has to be able to control all the bills. Just what we got it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. Um, let's see how I can do that. Okay. Okay. We see you, baby. Ooh. Ooh, turn around. Show that butt. Uh, you see? Y'all yeah. see that? Okay, um, that ain't it. Let's see how I can do that. That ain't it. I don't know, Chubby. We got Chubby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Team Peterson says she manifests her husband. Now nah, she ain't. Not with all that fupa and that and that and that penguin ass. No, that's penguin ass. Y'all, y'all remember the original penguin? <laughs> I mean, Danny DeVito penguin. That's that. <laughs> yeah, she coming through. I like a long red, thin red bone. Open, open up this shit for lay me on. Not chicken, oh, chicken litter. litter. <laughs> yeah, like you said, uh, if she won't, if you are looking for a man to come in, play stepdaddy, pay all the bills, this is not. I, depends. Did she say, what does he got to look like? Did she say anything about that? She it she really didn't. Okay, so, she didn't. So there she we didn't. go. Like I said, if she say he ain't got to look no kind of way, ain't got to smell. If she ain't come up here talking about hygiene, looks, and all, he got to smell funky, look any kind of way, be short, whatever, wide, stumpy. He might pay the bills. He might. Now her chance is going up to get this Mr. Bill payer. But if she want him to look like something, be Mr. Dragon Slayer, oh. There you go. So if she want that, he ain't gonna look like much at all. So that's she got to pick. Not as long as she looking like this, he ain't gonna look like much at all. Why? Because she don't look like much at all, and it's her own fault. Step away from the table. I ain't said it in a while. Step away from the table. Just stop eating. Yeah, all she get at this point is a good old nug nug. At it was my girl. At hold on, she looking for love, but. Mm -hmm. 
He cheated on me on Sunday, mm -hmm. and that was a big mistake. Okay. okay. I cheated on him on Tuesday, and, and I, I ate, ate a big, big ass steak. The fuck is you looking for? Huh? Under the sea. Come on. Under the sea. Come on, Toy. Nothing is better when we are together. All right. <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea. Here we go, man. Oh. Put that penguin ass under the sea. Yeah, she need to go do some squats. Just squats for, for three months straight. All squats. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Detourion. Looking like dough before you roll it out that pack. Yeah. Yeah, man. Squats. Squats. Just squats. She need to just start doing air squats. Soon as she got off this damn phone. Squats. Baby. Ooh, turn around. Show that butt. The women, y'all love to change. Y'all love to show the butt, y'all. <laughs> what? So this is Kayla. Does he have to be in Houston? Uh, no, I'm open. Can he? He can have kids but, already, right? Yeah, but if he's not in Houston, don't be talking about you're not. Want. I see a lot of men on here saying they're not taking care of people, flying people out, or flying to meet nobody. I don't want that. <laughs> if you're not in Houston, you have to be willing to accommodate something. So what is it? So what I have heard lately is men might be like, I'm not flying you out, but we could fly to meet somewhere. Or are you saying if he's not in Houston, he has to fly you out? No, no, no. We can meet somewhere. We can meet somewhere. Um, I'll, I could pay for my flight, but that's about it. So he has to pay for the hotel if you guys meet somewhere. What? Okay. Okay. So she paid for her flight, but you got to take care of everything else. Yeah. Okay. When was your last relationship, Kayla? My last relationship ended like January, February of this year. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, Yeah, I'm not answering. No worries. What are three Stop things you cow. think you have to work on? Um, hmm, that is hard. I'm perfect, all right, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, three Keep things I really have to work on are I, I see a lot of like girls who have, or women on here that are just kind of falling in love with every guy, thinking every guy is the right one. I do that too. So I kind of make believe things in my head, even though they're not actually there. So kind of just figuring out what exactly I'm looking for is one. Uh, two, I can control my mouth a little bit better. Sometimes when I'm upset, I just fly off at the mouth. Um, but my last relationship actually really helped me with that because the guy was kind and patient. So I'm working on it. And then the last thing, um, just kind of like being confident in myself and what I have to offer. So I'm not looking for it in someone else. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, first thing I cook really, really well, like extremely well. So we're eating good. Um, I'm really family oriented. So if it is a man that wants a family, hopefully you're going to get that with me. Like I don't have a problem taking care of kids and doing home type of things. And I'm fun. Like it's a good time over here. It's a good time over here. Let's do it. It's Kayla Houston, 27. What is your age range? Uh, like 33 to 49. Oh, you go older. Oh yeah, like a look, looks age that that doesn't matter. And there we go. So here we go, people. She might be fending off the band because yeah. she ain't looking for much, and she ain't oh she ain't the most blowed out woman. She ain't the most undesirable woman, and she ain't coming up here shooting for the stars. That's what does true. that mean? She probably gonna find the man. There you go. I agree. It's possible. She can't, she, 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 well, here's the thing now. She wants somebody making about six figures, but she don't care what he looked like. None of that. She said, that don't matter. Brain, brain. She said, brain don't matter. She said, money don't matter. A little, a little bit of captivity there. At the same time, she said, bring on, bring on Dan. Bring on Tim. Bring on fat stankin' Ed. <laughs> There you go. Presenting for what she presenting. All we can do is take her by what she's saying. 
as we do most women and what she's saying she ain't looking for much so most women come up here look for miss six figure gotta be tall handsome smell like something look like some hitting on something and she ain't say all that so nope. there we go ladies all my all my wonderful marriage minded women please take note lose step away from that table your chances skyrocket understand the rules to the game and play accordingly message yeah this woman right here she ain't doing too much working out or anything she showed up as she is she looking for a mr 40 hours a week all right mr 40 hours y'all about equally yoked go ahead take this woman down the aisle be a step daddy most men will have to be you know they say by the year of you know 2040 or 2030 70 80 percent of women are going to be single mothers so y'all gonna have to be a step daddy at some point it's just the math is the math either you you know you're gonna divest like i've been saying all day i've been telling y'all i've been telling y'all i'm trying to learn how to golf don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare so figure it out my man project leroy project leroy said where do her back end and where her booty begins that's that penguin effect you see ain't no line it's just it just keep going and then it it says you don't know where it started where it ended (laughs) straight like that so you got speed to that sister i i hope she find what she looking for which she, if she's saying it ain't much, she probably will. But if she capping, then she'll be back here. here she's go. gonna come back and she's gonna say, Kendra, she's gonna say, I wasn't quite clear enough my <laughs> first time. Look, <laughs> this the kind of woman she's gonna come back up on the show, she's gonna let Kendra know how she was not clear and she had a lot of green card bays and prison bays in her inbox. And she's gonna come back and be a little more clear. She's gonna yes. say, He gotta look like something this time, Kendra. He gotta have some bread this time. Because last time, they was blowing up my inbox, Kendra. <laughs> and they was coming in, you know, looking built all wonky and with no bread, trying to trying to bring in a black garbage bag full of clothes and, you know, put it in my hallway closet. I said, what you doing, Nug Nug? So, Kendra, I'm back. I got stipulations now. You got to look like this. You got to be making that. It's a good chance we will see her back for sure. 